that's pretty sight isn't it guys we're on top of Mount Mitchell at their observatory here in uh, Heist Peak east of the Mississippi 6684 is the elevation let's go see what's in the fridge today guys Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today I found this in the back of the refrigerator. This is Ovila Dubel. And this is a collaboration with the Abbeys of New Clarabal. I probably butchered that word up. Brewed and bottled at Sierra Nevada's Brewing out of Chico, California. This is a 7.5% 7, 7 alcohol by volume. Uh, I have had this beer for for a while now. Like I said, it was pushed back in the back and as I told you guys, I'm trying to get all these uh, older beers out of there, especially the lower ABVs like the 7% and, and the less uh, uh, out of the fridge for the end of the year. So I figured I'd go ahead and get this one out and get it reviewed. Uh, uh, on the back it says, a collaboration between Sierra Nevada and the monks at Abbey of New Clarival, Oviva Abbey Double Dubel, however you want to pronounce that word, brings the centuries-old monastery brewing tradition to America. Oviva Abbey Dubel features a complex and rich malty sweetness and hints of caramelized sugar. The aroma is a heady and layered mix of fruit and spice with hints of clove and black pepper from the unique Belgian-style yeast. So, uh, I don't think there's anything else. I don't know exactly when this was done, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was probably a year or two ago. So, uh, from what I've read and what I've heard about this beer, it was kind of boozy. So, that's one of the reasons I wanted to sell it for a while. So, maybe that would ease up a little bit and die down. So, let's get on with this one. Uh, 7.5, brewed once, like I said. And I'll give you the commercial description right there. Uh, the glass wire for this, uh, you could use the goblet, goblet or the chalice. I've got the Dubal glass guys. That's what I use for these type of beers. And it says can be sold for extended periods. And the food pairings for this, the cheeses are the buttery brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger. And the meat for this is beef, they say. So, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So, let's, uh, this is a corked bottle, of course. And let's get this thing open and hopefully it won't spew all over the place. But there's no guarantee. A lot of hits there. Hey, it's staying in the bottle. That's a good thing. Splashing on it. All right, get this around there where y'all can look at the label. They did several different variations. I think they did a triple. So uh, this is the only one that I bought. I didn't buy the triple. A lot of bubbles on that aggressive pour. We got about a finger of half of head over into the light. It is a rich red, almost a ruby color. Very clear. I can see right through it. See the bulb on the other side. Looks very good in the glass. A lot of bubbles in there. A lot of bubbles screaming up. Let's get a nose on it. I smell dark cherries, plums. Dates, raisins, a lot of dark fruit in this. Caramelized sugar. Of course, got the Belgian yeast going on there with a little bit of banana and grapefruit. Smells very sweet and very tasty in the glass. And as you can see, that head has basically dissipated that quick. So it is gone, just barely covering the top of the beer now. Looks very good. I'm usually a pretty... Uh, 
pretty impressed with most of the stuff Sierra Nevada does. There, there are a few that they've done, but I've not uh, been very uh, uh, excited about. So let's see what happens with this. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Very tasty. Wasn't getting any of the alcohol on the nose. Not getting much on the taste either. It has definitely calmed down. Not getting the, the big boostiness of some of the other uh, reviewers have said. Very, very nice. Very good beer. Kind of on the sweet side, not overly sweet. Very tasty. Seems like I have cellared this one just long enough. Yes, I really like this. It's right out of the fridge. I, it may be even colder than, it may be down to like 38 degrees. I've let it set on the table here for about 15 minutes before I started to beer review to let it warm up a little bit. This one was shoved way back in the back of the fridge downstairs. And uh, those fridges are just a little bit cooler than the one I keep up here, so. Very tasty, guys. But well, let's let it warm up and see if it changes any. And I'll be right back. I'm going to do the final chug and comments. And I'm going to share the other half of this with the other half as I normally do. And see what she thinks of it. And we'll come right back. Stick around. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left when we started pouring the other half's uh, glass full. See, it was kind of cloudy, so we mixed it up a little bit. And it is not clear anymore. It is uh, very, very cloudy. Uh, Got all the goodies in the bottom of the bottle into the glass now, so a little bit more taste. A lot of dark fruit. Of course, the Belgian yeast is going on there. Figs, dates, raisins, cherries. Very tasty, guys. A little on the, a little on the sweet side, but still not overly sweet. Very tasty. Kind of wish I would have got the other one now. Very tasty, guys. Very tasty beer. Those guys at Sierra Nevada do a, some great beers. I really like a lot of the stuff that they do. I usually keep some of the uh, some of the Sierra Nevada beers in the fridge most of the time. I like what they do, guys. It's uh, pretty tasty. Let's do the final chug on this one. Candy sugar, caramel, dark fruit, mm. very tasty, not boozy at all. It has calmed down considerably from what I have read and heard about this beer, so. Cellar very well, very tasty guys. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is an A beer, it is definitely an A beer. I'm going to give it an 8, which is an A-. minus. It's very tasty, guys. It's definitely an A beer as far as I'm concerned. Let's go see what the other guys got to say about this here. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first, and Beer Advocate says 86, which is in their very good range. And going over to uh, Rate Beer, Rate Beer says 95 overall and 97 in the style. And I, I pretty much agree with that. It's not quite to the 10, but it is definitely an A beer. So, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it or didn't like it. I did like it. I liked it a lot. Uh, it is, uh, I don't know if they still got some of this setting on the shelves. I didn't notice the last time I was there, whether they did or they didn't. But if you see it, pick it up. Uh, this is a great beer. It is definitely very tasty, especially if you're into the uh, the Belgian uh, style Dubel or Double uh, Ovila is the name of this one. Very tasty, guys. Let's get out of here. Hit that like button. Rate, comment, subscribe. We're up over 9,500 subscribers, I think, now. Thanks to all you guys that give me comments and hit the like button and uh, watch the videos. I do appreciate it. Let's take a walk in the fridge, in the kitchen, in the fridge, in the kitchen and see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.